Kaiser Chief supporters will have to continue holding their breath to see new signing Antonio Akum make his club do but as a lot is happening at the moment stay until the end of this video hello guys it's ghost here welcome back and if you're new to this channel click that red subscribe button and click on the notification bell to get notified when i upload a new video the kenyan international is relatively unknown to many south africans but he comes highly rated as those who have seen him at zesco united what he can do when he's given when given a chance to shine kenyan midfielder Antonio akumu joined kaiser chiefs on a three and a half year deal akumu who was released by zambian giants zesco united at the beginning of this year kote who arrived at the beginning of the season from Tanzanian side Simba FC has failed to make a competitive appearance for Damakosi and moves in opposite direction in order to make space for one more foreign player in Akum. I'll leave a link to why Kaiser Chiefs had to let go of James Godet in the description below. You should go and check it out. The Kenyan international midfielder had been training with his new club for a while prior to Kaiser Chiefs releasing Ghanaian James Godet who had to make a room in their foreign quarter. And Ernest Middendorp did mention last year that James Godet was struggling with the pace of the game in training. Chiefs fans will remember Akumu when he netted for Zesco United as they knocked Chiefs out of the Confederations Cup playoffs around last 16. The 27-year-old who is a robust, reliable and no-nonsense ball-winning central midfielder has 38 caps for Kenyan national team and is said to be the country's best kept secret. I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. Chiefs needed someone who would come in and waste no time in settling in the, in the environment, but most importantly be a long-term replacement for Willard Kazande at the club. Akumu's talent is unquestionable and what makes him a top signing is the fact that he can also score goals as well. The first thing the tall midfielder would add to Chiefs is even greater height from the set place in both boxes. Amakose have been practically unstoppable from corners and wide free kicks in recent months and adding another tall player to this is a fearsome thought for opponents having extra defense protection in this department also means one less way opponents can hurt chiefs the 27 year old generally plays in a deep middle field role but is not a pure holding middle field who occupies an area of the pitch like willard kazand does Against the Royal Eagles this weekend, the midfielder should begin the 18-man squad if his work permit has arrived and his fitness levels are deemed good enough. With George Maluleka back from suspension and both Katsande and Karen Bakas to compete with for a starting spot too, it is most likely that we will see Akumu on the bench initially. But the 27-year-old seems unlikely to make his debut when Amakose visit Golden Arrows. With no further updates coming from the Department of Home Affairs, Akumu, who came in to, the, to replace the departing James Godet, is thought to be nursing a minor injury at present following his move to Nacherena this month. But it has also been revealed that he hasn't yet received his paperwork to play for the club. Chiefs said on their official website, Akum Agai is waiting for his paperwork and preparing to be integrated into the fold. There has been system issues at the public service office, resulting in the delay to the issuing of Akum's work permit. This has also been the case for Baroka, new coach Dylan Kerr who was 
announced by his club more than three weeks ago. Teddy as Akum is known could eventually eventually get his first run in the Glamour Boys colors when they next host Royal Eagles in the Netbank Cup opener at FNB Stadium on February 8. Antonio Akomo will be in the squad. Kama Billet will be in the squad too. And that's so far as it is now after finishing today's training session, said Midden Dope on Tuesday. Otherwise, from the injury side, thanks God in the moment, we have no question marks. There's a small one with Hoto Muleko in terms of a tight muscle on his leg. But we will wait over the next two or three days and see how far he is handicapped and possibly leave him out to wait another week. Otherwise, everyone is available so far. The metal feeders market value is estimated to be around 1.7 million according to transfermarket.com. And according to African Sport, that move to Kaiser Chiefs will earn him an estimated 50 million Kenyan shillings. Here is the math. The 27 year old, 27 year old will pocket his 12 million as a signing fee for simply agreeing to sign his contract. This is the exact same amount Chiefs paid Kenyan champions GOR Mahia in exchange for Ugandan defender Godfrey Olumsebi last year. Kaiser Chiefs have terminated the contract of the red back, left back Godfrey Walumsebi as it appears he could not settle at Naturena and play consistently at high level. According to a kickoff report, his former side Go Maya lose out on a 1.5 million payment which was due to be paid for his service in the second part of the season. A source told the publication. The first installment was paid last year. The second installment was due in January. However, the club in Kenya will now not receive anything after the player's contract was terminated. The defender arrived from the Kenyan Giants with much fanfare as it seemed he was earned marked to take over from veteran left-back Tsebo Masilel. Nonetheless, he struggled for the Jama boys and was subject to some criticism from supporters. The club tweeted, Kaiser Chiefs have parted ways with left back Godfrey Walum Sibi. The player has opted to go back to Uganda. We would like to thank Godfrey for his contribution to Kaiser Chiefs and wish him all the best. Besides Akumu, besides Akumu will receive one 1.5 million Kenyan shillings monthly salary at the Johannesburg based club, which tabulates to about 54 million Kenyan shillings across the two year period. The salary, this salary represents about 400% increase from the reported 400,000 Kenyan shillings he was earning at Zesco United, his former club. The former Go Mahia and Ah Al Kadora Metrofeda is entitled to some winning bonuses, accommodation, air tickets, and other perks. With the motivation of earning millions, Akumo will be hoping to spare chiefs towards winning their first league title in almost a decade this season. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and listening, guys. Like the video and comment down below, and see you in the next video.